Hey guys, what's going on? It's AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, we're going to dive into the top 10 hidden features found inside of iOS 8. So without any more further ado, let's dive into this video covering these hidden features. Alright, so let's dive into our first hidden feature, which is the ability to take front-facing burst mode shots. So let's open up the camera application and press on the front-facing camera button. Alright, so now we're greeted with the front-facing camera, and let's press and hold the shutter button to take that burst mode shot. Alright, so there we go. We can easily take burst mode shots using the front-facing camera using iOS 8. Alright, so moving right along with hidden features found inside of iOS 8, let's show you how to add a widget to the notification center area. So easily swipe down from the top of the display and scroll down until you can see an edit button. So we just want to press on that button to expose a bunch of options for customizing the notification center. So for instance, I have three apps that have widgets enabled for them. Developers simply have to add widgets to their application and then they'll show up down here. So let's add one for my homework and we can easily position it throughout our notification center using the three little lines to the right hand side. And so when you successfully place it where you want to, press the done button and then you'll see it appear in your notification center area. So when you're done, just slide up and you're done with adding a widget to the notification center in iOS 8. So using Safari can be pretty essential when using our iDevice, but what if you want to use private browsing? Well in Safari in this new version of iOS, they have a new private browsing menu. So let's press on the tabs button and let's open up the private browsing option, which is the private button on the bottom left. So that opens up a new private browsing mode that was not present in other versions of iOS. So this allows you to have multiple tabs that utilize the private browsing option. So let's just open up a couple different private browsing tabs. You can easily scroll through them and see the other private browsing tabs that are visible using the private browsing mode inside of this new version of iOS. Well, iOS for iPad also got some new updates. Now you can pinch out of a web page to open up the tabs view. So let's open up Safari, and instead of pressing the tabs button to the top right, we can easily zoom out or pinch out with our fingers. And there we go, that's just an easy little shortcut to access the tabs view inside of Safari. Alright, so let's jump right back over to my iPhone so I can show you some rich text formatting options inside of the Notes app. So let's write some text and let's format it. So let's press on text, let's select that, press the little arrow to the right, and press on the bold, italicize, and underline button. So let's bold the first piece of text, then let's italicize the second piece of text, and then let's also underline the last piece of text by pressing the bold italicize underline button and pressing underline. So that's just a pretty basic look at text editing and rich text formatting inside of the Notes app. So the Maps application actually got updated too with a cool feature called Flyover Tours. So do you remember when Flyover was introduced and you could explore a major city in 3D? Well now on iOS 8 you can explore one of the major cities as a tour with Flyover Tours. So let's pull up San Francisco, which is a pretty popular city. Let's press on the city name and press on Flyover Tour to start a flyover tour. Alright, so now we'll zoom in to one of the major landmarks of San Francisco, which is the AT&T Park. And it'll pull it up in beautiful 3D, and you can see the city in 3D as it goes around the city and gives you a tour. So that's just a pretty basic look at the flyover tours for iOS 8 in the Maps application. So the Mail app also got updated with a couple new features, but let me show you one that might be hidden to the average user. So let's open up the Mail application, and let's say we want to go check out our other inboxes before we send this message that we've started to type out. So all we have to do is swipe down on the message starting at the new message, easily swipe down, and then we can minimize the message without deleting or saving the draft. So we actually have the draft minimized, but if we want to go see it again, just tap on new message, 
And there we go, we can resume typing and send the message off to whoever we may desire. Alright, so the last couple of hidden features all take place in the settings application. So the first one consists of turning off the predictive type texting bar. So we don't just want to minimize it, we just want to turn it off completely. So let's scroll down until we see keyboard, and let's go to predictive and turn that off. So now if we open up the notes app, the predictive text typing bar is completely gone and not minimized. So if we go back, we can turn that on as well. Also, Guided Access got some new updates as well. So let's open up Accessibility. Let's scroll down until we can see Guided Access. Let's turn that on. And let's configure a passcode. We can turn on Touch ID if we want to. And we can configure the time limits if we want to. Also, let's turn on the Accessibility shortcut so we can triple click the home button to turn it on. So let's open up an app of our choosing. Triple click. And then Guided Access is started. Since I configured a time limit beforehand, it'll default to that, but you can change that if you would like to as well. So as you just saw there, time has expired, so the time limit of one minute has been set for guided access. So to end it, triple click the home button to enter your password to end guided access. So triple click, enter your password, and then I'll open up the guided access control panel. Also, if you did not set up the time limit ahead of time, you can configure it here. So I have the time limit set for one minute. You can do it for a couple of hours, or you can do it for a couple of minutes. So that's just a quick look at the new features inside of Guided Access. All right, so our last hidden feature also takes place in the settings application. And this hidden feature is the ability to invert your colors or turn on grayscale. So let's open up settings, go to general settings, go to accessibility, and turn on invert colors or turn on grayscale. By turning on both of these, you get a pretty interesting combination. Or if you want to turn off invert colors, you get a black and white screen. Or if you just have invert colors on, you just have inverted colors. So this is a pretty cool way of customizing your display if you want to, so you can read it better outdoors. Or you can turn this on if you have to, to see the screen better. So that just about wraps up our hidden features found inside of iOS 8. So I hope you guys learned a lot in this video, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, in the comments, let us know if you have any other tips and tricks or hidden features so everybody can learn some more about iOS 8. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.